video we're going to be taking a look at another pull-up doll. This is from the Classical Alice series and it is the White Rabbit. Now I already have Alice and the Mad Hatter from this series. So when I finally found one of the White Rabbit online, I had to have her. There was no choice. So quick look at the box. It's the same pattern you find on the other boxes in the series. Really pretty red and blue details. So I'm pretty excited to get the rabbit out of the box because she looks like she's got some great accessories. Now here she is out of the box. She comes with her card and two little mittens as well as this bronze colored stand. So first let's take a look at the face up. She's just a really sweet looking little girl dressed as a rabbit basically. She has some light blushing as eyeshadow and this kind of slight cat eye with a heavy bottom lash. Um, really sweet little lips with just a bit of a shadow. A um, little pink in the inner eye. You can see the white here and her eyelashes. And she has blue eyes. Her eyelids are actually plain with just a black liner. Her hair is long. This is her wig. It's a very natural blonde looking and it's long in the back. And now let's look at her stock. She's got some amazing stock. It's like she's dressed in a big rabbit costume that has kind of a bear fur really. It's like what I think of when I think of like a stiff teddy bear or something. She's got this natural blonde kind of fur. It's like a beige color, I guess. And then the lining of her ears are this blue and white stripe. And that is also the lining in the inside. And she is wearing multiple layers. She's got on her fluffy bunny costume with feet. There's a faux leather sole. Then she has this layer of kind of, kind of like a dress almost. And then this top layer, which is very reminiscent of what the rabbit wears when he is working for the Queen of Hearts. This kind of top piece, and it's so beautiful with the gold and black diamond pattern and then the heart details with this blue field of background. It's so pretty. A lot of gold trim and detail. She comes with this, it's supposed to look like kind of a satchel or um, like a handbag of some type, but it doesn't open. It's just a flat piece of cloth, but it's got the spades on one side and then this black and white diamond pattern on the other. Some cool details of the watch face. She also has a bow with this awesome charm. It's the heart, the spade, the clubs, and the diamonds. So I think we need to deconstruct the layers a little bit because she's wearing so many. So here she is deconstructed and this is her base layer. We'll take off her little hat which velcros around the chin. And she's so cute and so fuzzy with like her little rabbit glove hands. Those come off very easily. And then the outfit itself velcros in the back. These are her shoes which you have to untie the bows that were holding them on her ankles to detach the feet. So this is the actual base costume. Then she's got her rabbit hands, her rabbit feet, and her rabbit headpiece. Now here's the next layer above the rabbit costume is this little kind of open jacket, I guess you would call it maybe a shirt. It's, it doesn't close in the front. Um, it stays open and there's no little clasp to close it. Then we have this top layer, which Velcros in the back, the collar, which has a little hook and eye and it's a separate piece. But here's what she would look like without her rabbit costume on. She came with little socks and you can get a better look at her wig. It's very soft. It's got a slight wave. I really like the hair color with the rabbit costume. And I really love the details of her costume. So let's take a moment to point out her articulation. She can move at the neck, the shoulder, 
the elbow, the wrist, the hip, the knee, and the ankle. She can also, as I pointed out before, move her eyes. She can wink or she can blink. So here she is all put together and oh my God, she's so adorable. I love all her stock details from her little rabbit hands to her little rabbit feet.